Hello, my lovely Leos. This is your middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2020. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's going on in regards to your love life. Now, your first card here is the Wheel of the Year. Oof, feeling very, um, feeling lucky, feeling like people are starting to give you more attention, people even trying to catch your eye. You have the three of pentacles, and this is currently what's blocking you. So for some of you guys, work, work is in, work is not your friend right now when it comes to love. I think that your love life is greatly impacted because um, for some of you guys, it could be working very long hours. It could be that you're very focused, very determined in trying to achieve goals and aspirations. Now, in the past and passing, you do have the five of swords. So there was an inner struggle going on with you. For some, it could be that you're still dealing with the same situation, um, but that's quickly going to change for you. You do have the shadow side. So this is the Capricorn card, the devil card. Um, what they're saying here is that for some of you guys, it could be there is something in regards to a habit that you do that is currently affecting your love life. So this could be for some, it could be that you have a tendency of, you know, giving people one too many tries. And it's like they're not proving themselves and you're just hopefully waiting for them to change. And what they're saying here is that time is wasting. Some Time is something that you can never buy. You could never get back. So it's time for you to either see them really for what they really are or make the decision to walk away from something that is not serving you and it's not working for you no more now you have the nine of swords a lot of anxiousness a lot of stress a lot of worries uh, five of wands inner struggle going on so i think for some of you guys you may be dealing with a partner that is extremely stubborn someone that doesn't necessarily know exactly what it is that they want and at this point you're starting to question well where do i stand with them uh with the shadow side there is some type of um some type of negative uh it's almost like an addiction to you for some it could be that you are or you do have some type of addiction some type of difficulty whether it's coping mechanism um it could be pills to sleep uh for others of you it could be alcohol for others of you it could be sex um but what they're saying here is that there needs to come an end to this to this issue there is a greater issue here in regards to your love life leo and sometimes we can become addicted to being with people that need saving because we feel better about ourselves on a subconscious level so what they're saying is that this is not helping you if anything it's affecting your energy so you have to either pull away from that or figure out where exactly do you fit in your partner's life. Are they putting you constantly in their life or are they keeping you at a distance? And if that's the case and you've been with them for quite a while, then the stress and the anxiety and the trying to figure out this person's mentality is just messing with you. So at this point, you got to put your foot down, Leo. Now, your advice card here is the three of cups, reconnecting with friends, reconnecting with family members, people that are positive and optimistic. It also speaks about reconnecting with your inner child, um, being the sunny, happy, joyful type of energy. Have you forgotten that along the along the way, Leo? Have you forgotten who you are? Have you allowed yourself to lose yourself in this relationship or dealing with people that are extremely toxic now you have the two of swords you got to walk away you got to make a decision what decision are you making are you decision are you deciding to not make a move because that in itself is a decision so you have really no one to blame but yourself because ultimately when we try to change a person um we're kind of fantasizing uh, who we want them to be. And it's that desire to create them to be what we want that keeps us holding on. 
But with the two of swords, you're not looking at the situation clearly. It's time for you to bring that blindfold off your eyes and see them really for what they are. Now, you also have here the four of cups. So the four of cups is feeling a bit restricted, feeling like things have not been going your way or like in relationships, it, it never you know, it never comes out the way you're expecting or the way you're wanting to to make things happen or what you're desiring, you know, wanting to uh, take it to the next level or trying to work out the relationship that you've been in. For some of you guys, it could be a relationship that, you know, you guys have been together for over seven years and still to this day, they're not really sacrificing anything. They're not really, it's usually you, Leo, that's giving and what they're saying is that it's time for you to step back and to really see them for what they really are. With the high priestess, listen to your intuition. You're being guided uh, at this present time. For those of you guys that are single, this is something you've been dealing with for quite a while. Perhaps you walked away from a very toxic relationship where sometimes on a subconscious level, there's almost a feeling of like you're being pulled towards the person. And it's not really that you're being pulled towards them. It has more to do with the fact that you yourself have convinced yourself that you're still connected. Um, so it's almost like if you're constantly thinking of someone, then the universe is going to be reminding you constantly of that person. It doesn't mean that it's spirit's way or that it's, you know, God guiding you back to them. Uh, it just has to do with the fact that we kind of have to pull our energy back um, to be whole again. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Bye.